Hello, Fo fam, and welcome to a day in my life. I feel like it's been a minute since I've actually just filmed my entire day and what goes on. And not that I have anything crazy planned today, but I just thought I would film and show you guys what my day to day is like. And I am not looking great this morning. So let's get started. So just to like start off my day, it's currently at 10.30 a.m. I usually wake up like a little bit before nine, but I lay in bed forever. And then after I got out of bed and washed my face, all that, I came into my studio because it's kind of the beginning of the week and I have like my calendar here and I try to plan out a week's worth of videos so that I'm always on track and ahead and not missing posts. So I kind of wake up and just start working right away. If I already have my videos planned, then normally at this time I would be like editing or something like that. It wouldn't be a day in my life if I didn't love Ace. Oh, you getting the good pets. And Alan's still in bed. Whoa, you got out of bed like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Need some slack. Drink water. So I'm still in what I slept in, so I'm gonna change real quick. Okay, changed and ready. So I've been doing this thing lately where I just sit in my studio and listen to music. I'm really vibing to music lately. So I decided that instead of just sitting in my studio, I'm gonna start going on walks every day to listen to music. Cause exercise, you know? So I got ready for that. I'm wearing some nice warm leggings, tennis shoes. Um, I have like a workout shirt underneath, keep me warm. Um, and then this is my high school when I played golf, my high school golf hoodie. Lost the strings to it. I always lose the strings to all my hoodies. Unfortunately, then I can't chew on them. It sucks. But I wore this snowboarding yesterday and it smells like the car after snowboarding, which is not the greatest smell. It's fine. And I'm realizing when I get back, I need to do laundry. <laughs> well, I need to put my laundry away. Okay, AirPods. Lately, my AirPods, see, I have the boneless ones, not the pros. I've had these since like 2017, so I wouldn't be surprised if they actually are dying. They just like don't work half the time, so hopefully they work. Also in the mornings, I kind of like to clean up from the night before, so I just tidied up the kitchen. Looks pretty great. I need to go put these in my room. Tampons. Okay, actually, <laughs> this might be weird, but speaking of tampons, I feel like everyone could use this information. So there's a bunch of brands of tampons, right? These, um, my sister-in-law started using them, and next time I'm on my period, I'm gonna use them. So I went to the store and got them. Um, they're called Just, and they have no dyes, fragrances, chlorine, bleach, like all that. Like it, they're literally just tampons without all the extra stuff. And supposedly it's supposed to just like help because they're more like natural. So I'm hoping that it'll help me cramp less and I don't know, stuff like that. So I'll let you know how they go next time I'm on my period. Which should be soon. Also, never in my life before have I been consistent about in the morning doing moisturizer and sunscreen and I've been doing it. So I just want everyone to know that I'm gonna be a flawless old person with no wrinkles. Okay, so because we went snowboarding yesterday, oh my gosh. First of all, I actually did kind of good. Here, I'll insert the video Dallin took. But when he took the video, I was really nervous, so I kept falling. But I was actually like getting the hang of it. And quick story time. So I had on my, I had on these like thick socks and then my snow boots. And like all growing up, I was told like always wear thick socks when you go snowboarding or skiing. But I used to ski and the boots were like plastic, so that makes sense. But snowboarding boots aren't like that, they're different. So I was wearing these really thick socks and my circulation was getting cut off. And I thought my boots were just too small. So I took off my boots, took off my socks. And then I was like, you know what? We're just gonna try no socks. And literally, I became a pro. Like I could actually move and not fall every five seconds. So that is some great news, but I was wearing no socks. So next time I'm just gonna wear normal like thin socks. Anyway, I thought it wasn't gonna be that sore because I wasn't falling that much, but oh my gosh, I am so sore. Like everything, like my shoulders, like the, my back, my arms, my legs, everything is so sore, my abs, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching here before my walk. Oh, even this hurts. Like, I am so sore. Woo. Oh my gosh. It's probably gonna actually feel good to walk. Okay, I'm ready for my walk. Let's go. So my walk ended up being me just like, uh, playing at the park. <laughs> I am so tired. Like, so tired. The snowboarding yesterday, like, the recovery today is... I'm exhausted. Um, anyways, I'm gonna shower and then make food and hopefully that'll give me some energy. So I showered, got ready. Oh, it's cold. Um, BRB, need a jacket. 
got my hoodie. I'm exhausted. I'm tired and I have no motivation. So this is just what I deal with. Some days I'm the most motivated person in the world and other days I literally just want to lay in bed. So I think I need some food and potentially Red Bull and I need to get things done. I don't know if anyone else relates to this, but I usually get really unmotivated when I have too many things to do. I get like overwhelmed. Cause like I just thought about everything that I need and want to do today and I'm just like, how can does one person get all of this done? So I'm a little stressed, a little overwhelmed, which in turn makes me shut down and just not do anything and be like, oh, that's tomorrow's problem. Food, I like food. Literally the last red bull, amazing. I've lived here for how many months now and I still don't know like which control controls which part of the stove. Hi Ace, did you come to join my cookie show? Welcome. Let's just pop this bad boy open right now. Hey, don't put your booty in their face. I'm gonna make scrambled eggs. I also would like to stream today. Why do I add things to my list? <laughs> and I need to make a gaming video because I still haven't done that. Why? Just mind your own business. Like, chill. Having cats 101. Ace, don't rub your head against the camera. Garlic salt. If you don't put garlic salt on something, then you're fake. It deserves to go on everything. And I need cheese. I know, why does that like cheese? Probably because every time I make scrambled eggs and I go to put the cheese in, I also have to eat some. I didn't make the rules. Cats are literally the best pets and no one can get into me otherwise. I'm really particular about my cheese. Like, I only like sharp cheddar cheese. I usually only like white cheese. Yellow cheese kind of scares me. Speaking of cheese, I think I want cottage cheese. Look how big this thing of cottage cheese is. For someone who doesn't like cheese, I'm eating eggs with cheese, cottage cheese, and just cheese. So it's just easier to say I don't like cheese rather than be like, oh, I actually only like shredded cheese and extra sharp cheese and Vermont cheese and normally only white cheese. I don't like cheese that's gross. And I only like the cheese that I buy myself. So no, I don't like your cheese and I don't want your cheese. And you better not put cheese in my food. Who remembers when I used to just make grapes all the time? I also realized like I wait so late in the day to eat breakfast because I'm too lazy to make it. And like I just made it, it's super easy. It's nothing complicated. And yeah, I'm like, no, I'm, I just don't want to. Cheese, amazing. Mmm. Oh, that cottage cheese hit different. Eating the cottage cheese with a little bit of cheese taste already in your mouth. That's, that's a new one. Okay, and then eggs. Mmm. Fun fact about me, um, up until like this year, I couldn't eat scrambled eggs without ketchup. It was just not good. Adding the garlic salt like makes eggs bearable, but I literally used to not be able to. I also don't like fried eggs until like a year ago because I hate the egg yolk. So if the yolk is cooked all the way through, I can I can like try, but I don't know. It's still not good. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my food. Okay, so I decided to do one of those things where I do a Google form and ask you guys like your confessions and your embarrassing stories. I just finished making it, getting some responses in. Very excited to read these. And then the embarrassing stories ones. <laughs> I don't know what order I'm posting all my videos in, so maybe one of these is already up. But if not, you guys can go check out the links. I'll put them in the description if I haven't already posted the video. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm sitting here looking at my calendar and I completely like this blew over my head. I forgot to tell you guys that I have a tattoo appointment on February 24th, which is two days before my birthday. So it's like my little birthday present to myself. I'm getting a tattoo. I might be getting more than one when I go, but I'm for sure getting one. And this is the one that I actually can't tell you guys about because it means a lot to me and it's gonna be a surprise. So I'm really, really excited for that and to film that video. Um, I thought it would be fun for this video. Like what if we scrolled through my Pinterest and tried to like find tattoos that I like together? Because I don't know for sure if I'm gonna full send, but I. I eventually would like to get a sleeve, like a pretty minimalistic one, nothing too crazy. And then maybe like a couple on my ankles and my ribs, stuff like that. I don't know, I really, really like tattoos and... Okay, also, can we talk about this? So right now, 
I'm pretty normal. I got brown hair. I do have a nose ring though. Um, you can't even see my tattoo because it's winter and I'm always wearing long sleeves. But why is it that people associate like looking edgy or like alternative with being like a bad person or a bad influence? Like I just feel like that's so unfair because it's just a form of art and expression. Like ever since I can remember, I've been dyeing my hair. Like since I was like 14 or something like that, I started dyeing my hair. And then when I was like 16, I think that was when I first dyed it a crazy color and I dyed it pink. And then I've been like going ever since. But speaking of, I want to do half black, black on top with the silver underneath, like really, 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 really bad. So I'm hoping to do that before the summer. Um, I'm also trying to hold off as long as I can because I'm trying to just like vibe with my natural hair, but I hate having natural hair. I don't know why I thought it was for me. It's not for me. <laughs> um, I also have a nose ring, which people associate that with like bad things and I have multiple ear piercings and I want more and I have a tattoo and I want more. Like I'm like a nice genuine person. Like I'm the type of person you could take to your family's house and like I'd get along with your parents. Like I'm a chill person. And like, I just hate that association. Or like when my nails are black, like that means I'm edgy and a bad influence. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like that's like an old way of thinking and hopefully our generation can change that because I just don't think that it's fair. Anyway, there's my little ramble because it's something that I'm passionate about and have always dealt with. So just express yourself and be happy the way that you want, not how other people see you and how they take your forms of expression. That's on them, not on you. Let's look at tattoos. This is my Pinterest, which is where I get inspo for my tattoos or on TikTok. So as you can see, like my Pinterest is literally like tattoos and nails and then like house stuff. Okay, so I wanna get a dragon tattoo. That's one of my ideas, <laughs> but like a cute dragon, like the toothless dragon. So that's why I have all those pinned. But I really like this sword idea and I think it'd be cool like right here or just like on the back of my bicep, like kind of like above my moon like this person has it. Um, but let's do more ideas. See, I like minimalistic sleeves, kind of like this and this and this. I also like words, but I don't have any words that I like, live by or like feel super connected to. So I don't know what kind of words I would get tattooed on me, but I really want some like meaningful words. Like, I don't know. So I just get Red Bull tattooed on me. <laughs> Just kidding, that's stupid. See, I don't want like stupid tattoos. I They either need to be, they don't have to be meaningful, but I want them to be either be cute or like I feel connected to the image or they have meaning. I love this. I love the like line drawing, but then I also really love like the grunge, like thicker tattoos. So I really just don't know. That is so cute. I love the butterflies, but I've never really been like into butterflies or like connected to them. So I don't think I'll be getting a butterfly tattoo because like everyone has them which is totally fine i just don't relate oh that's sick though maybe i, I need to get a lightning bolt tattooed on me because that's like a thing for me i really like these like leaf um finger ones oh okay so i want to get like vines wrapped around my wrist but i'm also scared because that'd be like my first like bigger piece and i'm so scared and then it takes up that whole area but i also feel like that's kind of an awkward area to fill anyway so I just don't know. Like I like all these cute little tattoos, but then I don't want to get like all flowers. That is so cute. Okay, let's look up like lightning bolt tattoos. I actually have one right there, but it's a UV tattoo so you can't see it. And it was just kind of to see if I would even like it. I can't even see it. Wow, is it fully healed already? Yeah, I have no idea where it is. I don't know where. Oh, I could get that behind my ear. That'd be a vibe. And we love like space vibes. You guys know I love space. But I can't have every tattoo be flowers or space. Like I need some unique ideas. Which like I don't really like to just completely copy what I see on Pinterest. I wanna like make it my own, but if I could find one that I like for inspo, then that would be cool. I also want a cat tattoo, but I haven't found a single one that I like, so. Ooh! I actually like that. I usually hate Pisces um tattoos. How do I pin it? Save. Save to tattoos. Yeah, I really like that. I usually hate them because I'm a Pisces. I want to get something. So I'm an Aries moon and rising and a Pisces sun. So I want to get something and I might just do like the symbols, like the two lines and like the, if you know what I'm talking about, like the symbols for it rather than like literal two fish. So I want something like that. If you guys want to design me tattoos and send them to me, like go for it. <laughs> and like, I like the rose with the, um, words, but I have no like word that I would want to put in a rose, so I really just don't know. 
I don't know, choosing tattoos is like so hard, but like I want them, so I don't know what to do. And I want some sort of like positive mental health tattoo, but without it being stupid, like I don't know what to get. See, I thought I liked this like more like patchwork vibe, but I, I think I want some, like this, like this kind of flows a little bit more. I don't know, I just don't know what I want. Okay, y'all get the point. I showed you guys what I'm into and whatnot, so. That was fun. <laughs> this is what I do in my free time. I just look at tattoos. It's like all I do. But uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so for the rest of my day, I have a few things planned. I just came up with an idea that I'm gonna post like as soon as I can, like today. So I'm gonna film that and then go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I'm like reacting to pictures, like old pictures of me, like baby pictures and stuff and like explaining it, which will be funny. And then I need to get in the car. Before the sun sets, I'm gonna film my playlist video, the, like drive with me thing. And then um, it's Tuesday night, which means that The Bachelor is now on Hulu. So I'm gonna go to my cousin's and watch it there. And that'll pretty much be the day. So that's what to look forward to. Okay, finished filming that video, threw on a little bit of makeup, did a little outfit change, added a jacket instead of a hoodie. And I'm gonna go film my playlist video before the sun sets, so I need to get going. Glasses, keys. Oh my gosh, my hands are cold. Red Bull, water, just the essentials. Also, I typed my garage code in wrong like four different times. So I was like, oh wait, where do I live? Why can't I remember how to get into my own garage? <laughs> I kept doing like old garage codes. I don't I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna go film my playlist video. If you guys wanna follow my Spotify, I'm pretty sure it's just Sid Forsyth. If for whatever reason you wanna follow it, I make new playlists every month. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they suck. There we go. I just finished filming my playlist video, so that was fun. I love jamming to my own music. That's a vibe. We always love a good vibe. And now I'm gonna keep jamming music because it was fun. <laughs> so I went and picked up Taco Bell because it just sounded really good. Shut up! <laughs> and <laughs> we're, go we're pulling up to my cousin's house to watch The Bachelor. No, my camera's about to die! No, you gotta- you gotta- Okay, it's Tuesday night, which means we watch The Bachelor because that's when it's on Hulu, so we're going in to watch it right now. Let's go. My camera's been on the charger and I literally forgot that I was vlogging, but um, hi and bye. Uh, what's our review of The Bachelor episode tonight? Um, Serena, what's her name? Don't like her. She's yeah. drama. She's drama. Um, we don't like her. And then Heather shows up, yeah. like what? And we never really liked Heather from Colton's season, so. so. I think she's full never of crap. There's no way she's never kissed someone. She's way too ditzy. Yeah, no, I don't know. Kiss the boy in my butt. <laughs> Brittany went home. She was like one of my favorites. <laughs> now I'm mad. And Katie went home? Like what was that all about? Anyways, so I never ended this video, but that is the day in my life. It was a pretty chill day. I should have vlogged today because I've been doing a lot more today, but maybe I'll just do another one next week or something like that. Or maybe I'll do like a week in my life. That might be more entertaining. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.